This is the electric picture frame that we took apart. It was pretty easy to take apart because everything was pretty much screwed together. Once we removed the main body, the LCD screen pretty much just came out and the circuit board was left over. The circuit board was pretty easy to remove because it just had some screws securing it to the body. Between all the different pieces of the frame, the LCD screen, and all of its different layers, there were about 47 pieces. So the board even has four buttons right here. Was stuck up against here, and the buttons were placed like so. And you can set up the, set up the board. Um, let's see. On top of that, sat basically all the different layers of the screen. the screen, and then a frame. Additionally, I tried to take apart the electrical adapter to see what components it had inside. I was not able to open it, but RJ and Jordan both tried and they were also not able to open it. Ultimately, we ended up damaging whatever components it had inside, but we did not end up opening it. When we took apart the LCD screen, we saw that it had many different layers to it. Of these layers, there were two different films that when you look through them, they would reflect the image at a 45 degree angle to the right. This effect can be seen on the film that I'm holding because my face is projected inside of it, but it's turned a little. As a group, we spent some time looking at the actual LCD screen and Tack had accidentally bent it. And because of that, we were actually able to see that, like the actual display and you can see how it waves when he bends it. Following that, we peeled the actual glass off the LCD display. It came off fairly nicely and stayed together. We were able to pull a small little chunk off of it and look at it and you could see how it displayed the little pixels. Before we finished, we looked at the board. It has about 112 megabytes of memory as well as an SD card slot. Bree was able to get some cool uh, pictures of this and they will follow.